What's going on guys? So, I'm making a series of videos on how I got FuelTech FT450 running on my J3282 Type S. This is the 6 speed uh, out of the 2003 CL. So it's a cable throttle body. If you're using a drive-by-wire throttle body, you will need a FT550 because the FT450 does not support drive-by-wire. Uh, you're gonna need a laptop. If you try to use this, uh, do this on your phone, it's, it's not gonna work out. I'm just letting you know. You won't be able to see values and you also gotta copy some of the values that I have on this map. And do not start cutting wires. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna build a map. That's the first thing we have to do. That map is gonna generate a wiring diagram that we are gonna use to do the wiring on the car. So let's start with that. Okay, uh, we're gonna open a new map. FT450, or two close loop. We don't need a two step right now. We don't need fuel pump. We don't need thermatic fan. All that's gonna stay stuck on stock ECU and everything. Uh, ignition, gear change, detection. Next. Um, engine type piston, main fuel table map. TPS idle, no. Uh, acceleration fuel enrichment, TPS. We have six cylinders. This is 4B6 and Honda B6. This is your firing order. Next, uh, RPM, whole BR, falling, cam sync sensor, whole BR, falling. And we're going to do. Uh, Okay, this has got to be custom. Custom. Um, no missing tooth. 12. Missing teeth, zero. Mm, I think we're good here, no. The index is going to be 21. Was it 21? Check you. Mm, you don't do that. So, 12, 0, 0. Okay. Next. We're going to do initial mode, wasted spark, initial output, falling edge, spark pro. Next. Um, we're gonna do sequential injection. This is gonna be a hundred and thirty eight pounds per hour. That's the total flow of the stock injectors. And here we're gonna do 0.52 milliseconds of primary injectors that time. So now we go next. Pedal troll TPS, idle actuator, no. Everything else stays the same. Next, it's gonna be a high compression. That depends if you're using lower compression. This is just for references. Um, camshaft profile, I'll keep it low, they're stuck, type of fuel, gas, generate, you want the wiring harness, yes, so it gives you a wiring harness here, uh, 
Um, this is not complete yet. We have to go to inputs. See how there is none here. If it, if this is off, and you can do anything, is you gotta enable the input up here, and you go and choose O2 O2 general. Okay. This O2 is gonna be your Y band. It depending on the Y band that you use, that's how you have to wire. You have to check on whatever Y band you're using. If you get a nano with the field tech, uh, you can do the canvas, which I think is easier. Um, now we can go engine settings. So we're gonna start here. So. So say 6900 RPM engine for start, 400 maximum boost. No, we don't want to push all that. So we're gonna bring it down to I don't know whatever. If you're just gonna start. You can you can put that on two or three. We're just gonna leave it at four from now. Map GPS. BSFC 50.50, .50, that's right. Um, enable output pins, settings, and several it works master switch. So if you turn this off, your outputs will cut off. RPM, hole, custom 21, no missing tooth, crank trigger 12 teeth, falling. Cam sync signal, hall BR, we pull up, cam sync 2, uh, we actually gonna do a multi teeth in here. And I'm gonna open the map so you can see the actual values on my map so you can get this straight. You can pause it and fill it up or screenshot it. You gotta do multi teeth. Uh, rise and falling. This is how I got it to work. And uh, copy this table right here. <clears throat> okay, so these are the inputs that you will add. Um, O2 general, if you're using an AEM or any other type. If you're using the Y-Band Nano, the one from FuelTech, they have Campbell's, uh, so you don't need the O2 General. Air intake temperature, um, just set it as custom, enable pull up. TPS, custom, engine temp, custom, enable pull up. Wheel speed from custom, and that's technically all you need to get the car running. You don't even need the wheel speed, but just add it there. So, just so you can see the settings. Uh, once you get the TPS, can be calibrated here once you get to the car. You don't have to do that yet. Um, Engine temperature and air temperature uh, used uh, infrared thermostat, I mean thermometer, and I did the When you do the when you do the air temperature or engine temperature, I use uh, infrared uh, thermometer and you go to calibrate sensor. This table it's very very.
close to what you need. So all you gotta do is just calibrate the sensor with the same temperature that your your car is at, and that's good to go. You always check it, double check it once it goes to temperature. If it goes down to temperature, check with the thermo uh, thermometer, make sure everything matches. But same thing. That's once the car is it's uh, wired up and everything. Okay, so now we have our map generated and we have our wiring diagram from fuel tech so your engine coolant temperature is pin number 23 from fuel tech so all i ask in return is like subscribe share it show it to your friends maybe someone else needs to help i'm just trying to help everybody and you guys help me by subscribing liking and hit the notification uh, bell so you guys know what the next video drops.